the life in Gaza is very difficult for the whole population. We are in contact with our staff every day, almost every hour, especially the people in the hospitals, and they are undergoing a very, very hard time. Basically, uh, their, their, their day is they are taking care of patients. It's a continuous influx of patients. Yeah. Uh, they see many children, many women. Um, last time we had an operation, I was discussing with a surgeon. He was operating a 10 years old boy on the floor of the hospital because all the OT mm. were full in front of the mother, in front of the sister, and they were amputating his foot without the correct dose of, of uh, morphine. Horrific. So it's, it's horrific. This is pure horror. For me personally, it's been t t uh, 13 years I'm working with MSF is the worst I've ever seen. Of anywhere? Uh, of anywhere. Because people are trapped. People have nowhere to go. People are with their children, their wives, they have nowhere to go. They, sleep in the, they, they tell us they sleep in the same room because they want to either live together or die together. Mm. And they tell us how terrifying is the bombing and how the children are screaming every night, how they are doing a nightmare. Mm. It's, it's horrible. We are asking the, the, the health taker to choose between the life of their patient and their own life. They say, if you want to, to protect your own life, go to the south, which, by the way, the south is heavily bombed. So there is nowhere safe. And they, we are asking them to, to abandon the patients. There is no way to evacuate the hospital. It's impossible logistically, and it's inhuman. It's inhuman order. We cannot ask the, 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 health, mm. the caretaker sure. to abandon the patients.